Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, in June 21st, 2022. If you'd like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start, let's start by looking at the uh, NASDAQ, and of course, the US stock exchange was closed today, but the futures were basically trading. Uh, we have seen a rally here in today's session and we're up at 11.3k and at the moment it looks like we have basically created a small bottom here. doesn't basically mean that uh, things have changed but we are have been significantly um, overstretched after this massive fall um, and we've also been significantly uh, over oversold in the RSI so a rally has been expected and um, and the changes that we also seen uh, for example is that you know, the cryptocurrency market has uh, rallied quite significantly in the weekend and there has been a positive correlation between the tech sector and cryptocurrency usually crypto moves first and then the tech sector moves afterwards and um, considering the rally that we saw on Sunday where for example, Litecoin was up roughly 25% and Ethereum was up roughly 18% and so on. We could see uh, a bear market rally going forward. But at this current stage, it is just in the beginning and there's a lot of um, barriers above here uh, that will definitely be significant resistant. But let's look at the NASDAQ. And uh, as you can see, we are basically, we're at the very bottom of the bullish band fairly overstretched and also on the edge of being oversold at the moment the rsi is at uh, 38 so not oversold and we have a fairly uh, bullish candlestick from the session today so we have the first barrier here that is over here this bottom that we saw back in may that we have to go through before going towards the 20 simple moving average so this is around 11 11 point six k up towards 11.9 k up towards 12 k that's where we head towards the 20 simple moving garage so this is an area if you manage to get to uh, pass this then the 50 moving average will be the second barrier and after that the top over here which is roughly at 12 or 13 uh, 12.9 k into 13 k after that, if we break above these, then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play. So we have seen one bear market rally, quite significant bear market rally. That was back here in the mid-March when we rallied up towards the 200 moving average and then just completely crashed all the way down to the very bottom here. So we had another rally up towards the 50, crashed, and these rallies will um, continue. Um, going forward, the market just doesn't just drop um, to the very bottom and then it continues uh, upwards. It basically has rallies while it uh, it falls. And uh, at this current stage, we are fairly over uh, oversold and overstretched. So a rally could be expected here. If we drop below the lows on uh, of last week, then we are looking at significant lower levels. Uh, but uh, we'll also be even more significantly over uh, sold so that will only uh, create a bigger rally after that going forward we can look at the, the fibonacci retracement to see the very bottom here on 2020 so we have the 38.2 that is here at 12.9 we have broken below that we have the 50 here at 11.7 we have also broken below that so the 61.8 is our Kind of next target which is at the 10.5k so uh rally breaking down if we're basically breaking below here then this will most likely be the area where we'll focus on this is also the lows here of september 2020 and breaking below this then we'll most likely target the highs prior to the coronavirus which is roughly at 9.7k so if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is becoming bullish, and the RSI is also bullish at this current stage. So S&P 500. Also here, we have rallied uh, quite significantly. We are up more than 1% for the trade in the futures. 
and uh, also here we have been selling off quite significantly it may well be that we'll uh, rally up towards the fibonacci retracement levels which we also can look at the highs here to the lows and we can see that the 50 is around 3950 that's probably as far as this will go and it, uh, if we rally above that in the 61.8 which is at 3980 just underneath the, the 20 sip of moving average that's most likely also where we could get rejected breaking above the 20 then the 50 comes into play which is at 4093 at this current stage and after that the 200 moving average there are several um, areas that most likely also will be significant resistant one is here the previous lows which now will become resistant the previous highs here that also should be significant resistant we also see that this area here is in the same area that is probably as far as we will go uh, if this basically rallies to the upside if you look at technical indicators we can see that macd is uh, bearish stochastic is still in negative territory but has crossed the signal line and the RSI is becoming bullish on the edge of being oversold. So let's look at the, the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is up 0.92% uh, today. And also here, we were barely overstretched, have a triple bottom here, and uh, could be a sign that we will see something similar to this and similar to this going forward rallying up towards the 20 simple moving average 50 moving average on and the, probably the best case scenario the 200 moving average so rally upwards the 50 and probably all the way up to the 200 um, we are on the edge of being over uh, sold we are at 32 here in rsi um, at the very bottom and as you can see uh, going backwards in time every time we get to those low levels in rsi it tends to rally to the top of the bullish band before going back down so we're both at the bottom and at the bottom of rsi so um, probability is basically um, uh, higher for a rally here than to the downside even though we're in downtrend it doesn't mean that this downtrend will stop it only means that it has to go up at some point just can't be falling off a cliff constantly so let's look at the european market so also here in the, uh, the dax we can see that um rs macd is turning around still bearish stochastic has become bullish and rsi is also bullish and uh, we have basically broken below uh, this barrier here so we may well be that we'll only rally up to this point and then continue down it may also be that we'll rally up towards the 50 moving average which is run roughly here and then break down or in probably the best case scenario is in this area here which no that was not a terrible writing uh, this area here where we have a double top that is probably as far as this will go we have the 200 moving average just above here as well so this will also uh, create a massive barrier for this going forward uh, but we are, we have been on the edge of being oversold. We were basically at the bottom of the bullish band. So a small rally here, that shouldn't be uh, surprising. And the first target to the downside is the previous lows here in the beginning of March, where we saw this drop all the way down towards 12.4K. After that, we may see this market drop to the lows here of 114 then down to these levels at the 10.2 and then the very lows of the uh, coronavirus but um th something significant has to happen to go forward recession is expected but at this point the highs are here the lows are here and we are um going lower and lower towards these lows we have a trend line down here that basically is pointing to these low levels we are basically bouncing off it and going even lower so let's look at the VIX and we can see that the VIX got fairly crushed today we we are most likely going to test the 50 moving average and the, in the best case scenario 200 moving average so 50 we have bounced from it several times bringing below that then the 200 moving average comes to play and that is where we have found massive bottom uh, several times in the, the in, in the last few months so 
this is building up for higher volatility we actually have a barrier here that we basically need to break above and when we do we almost like go to 40 in the big sand that will also indicate that there is significant uh, fear in the market and volatility will spike and most of these indices and also these stocks will basically fall that is there's a negative correlation between the VIX and 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 these stocks and indices look at macd it is still bullish stochastic is bearish and our size bearish big macd is looking like it is turning around here so we'll probably have a crossing of the macd in the next few trading days so let's look at the 10 year it got significantly overstretched so we are most likely going to test the 50 moving average going forward got way outside of the bullish band so we'll probably see something similar to this uh, and continuing higher so uh, we are forming a fairly uh, looks like a channel to the upside it is not as um, parabolical as this move that we saw here it's more of a gradual move to the upside where the 50 moving average will mostly be uh, the bottom uh, while this upper trend line will be basically the top that's kind of what it looks like at this point but we'll see what you know, going forward breaking below the 50 moving average then we'll probably go and test the 200 uh, in the long term if you look at the MACD, it's still bullish, but it's turning around quite significantly. So we may see a crossing of the MACD uh, in the next few trading days, indicating that we'll go towards the 50 moving average. The stochastic is still bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. We were significantly overbought here in the 10 year. That's why we see this pulling back significantly. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. Good luck and thank you very much.